really it hasn't it hasn't really changed that much. I just drive back and forth between 55th and Farnham and 36th and Farnham. Warren Buffett is as old school as you can get. The billionaire 88 year old is famous on Wall Street and Main Street for only buying and investing in companies that he knows and understands. Think railroad companies, insurance providers, banks, airlines, and the biggest of global icons, Coca-Cola. He does own a piece of Apple, but only after the tech giant conquered the world with a little device known as the iPhone. But two recent buys in the emerging financial tech or fintech sector suggests the old guy might be ready to try something new in his investing strategy. So what's Buffett up to? Let's find out from Reuters Investments correspondent Trevor Honeycutt. So Warren Buffett and FinTech, that's like the odd couple. It, you know, you would think that it is, but what he's done is he's outsourcing. So one of his deputies, Todd Combs, is handling the investment. Um, and really it's about finding kind of the, the, the destiny for investors is where can we find growth in this, this world of slow growth? And what they're looking to is emerging markets. They're looking to the growth of the middle class in those markets in Asia, in Latin America, in Sub-Saharan Africa. How do we get access to that and do it in a stable way. And so what uh, Buffett's investment deputy, Todd Combs, has done is he's made two investments in payments firms that are in India and Brazil. And the goal is to find a way to take advantage of the fact that people in those markets are using their phones to buy things and and they think that's a way that they can get some growth. Warren Buffett is closely watched on Wall Street and Main Street. So how much money is he putting to work in the fintech sector? He's well he's putting at least his company's putting at least six hundred million dollars into these two companies. And there could be more to come. In May, Buffett told uh, people at his shareholders conference in Omaha that there could be more to come uh, in terms of financial technology. He thinks it's a growing space. He thinks that the payments, the way that we pay for things is being reinvented. Um, and so we could see a whole lot more of this. So how does this fit into Warren Buffett's portfolio? I mean, he only owns one tech company in the whole thing, and that's Apple. Well, Apple, you know, Warren Buffett has kind of had a few stages when it comes to technology. You know, he obviously had an IBM investment that didn't go as well as he thought it would. And he has, he's told people that he regrets not being on the ground floor on things like Amazon and Google, which obviously were huge businesses that he looked at when they were young and decided against investing in. And so he doesn't want to be left behind. And so that's why I think he's made a huge investment in Apple and he's allowed his deputies to make bigger investments in in other firms as well. And so he is known for taking safe bets, right? So what does this mean that he is dipping into the fintech sector? Is this a validation for this emerging uh, um, sector? It is. I mean, he said that he likes this sector personally. And, uh, you know, again, you said he likes stable things. I completely agree with that. And so maybe when, as you look at emerging markets, which can be extremely volatile, even though you do have this growth of the emerging markets, when you look at a payments company or something that's in the financial realm, since what they're doing is kind of taking a cut off of every transaction that happens, the idea is maybe that can be more of a stable business model than investing in another area within technology, say something that might be impacted by these US US-China tariff wars that we're seeing right now. Maybe payments within those individual countries are not going to be affected by that. So it might be a, a more stable investment. So we should tell people what these companies are. I realize that we haven't mentioned them. Uh, Paytm is India's largest mobile payments provider. Um, um, Warren Buffett is investing more than $300 million there. Stoneco is a payments processor in Brazil, in Brazil, and Warren Buffett's company is investing more than $300 million there for a total of six, more than $600 million, as you said. So I'm wondering, uh, with his lieutenants, uh, or lieutenant, as you mentioned, pushing this purchase or these investments, is this a sign that he's now ceding more control to the young folk? You know, I think it, I think it could mean that. You know, what we're seeing with with the deputy who was in charge of this partic these particular investments, Todd Combs, he's taken a whole lot of responsibility at Berkshire. Um, he's in charge of the uh, health venture. Uh, the, they're trying to lower health care costs. They've got a venture going with J.P. Morgan and Amazon to work on doing that. He's in charge of that. He made these two investments. He's on the board of J.P. Morgan's. Uh, he's on uh, J.P. Morgan's board, replacing Buffett in that role. So he is doing a whole lot more and. 
be becoming a lot more active within the company. So people who are watching to get a sense of who might be next, who might replace Buffett, who might take on more of Buffett's responsibilities, the focus is now more and more on Todd Combs.